Greetings, Zombie Slayer. Slippy Jim here, bringing you some Call of Duty World at War on PC Custom Zombies. And the map we're going to be uh, playing today is a map called McQuistley. And McQuistley apparently is the Aztec God of Death. Uh, one of many, no doubt. They were a pretty bloodthirsty bunch. This map was designed by a uh, Spanish guy named Riverau. You can see his name on top of the uh, spooky looking temple in the distance there. And. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good looking map. Uh, we've got a tent here, a little book on it, do some reading while you're camping. And uh, it's based on the Narkdor and Titan style of map, so it's quite small. And uh, it's got the full moon happening, the mist, all that good stuff. This map is actually uh, a map I got from Zombie Modding, of course. And it uh, didn't have too many downloads, but you know what? I had a look at this map and I thought it looked pretty good, so I thought I'd bring it to you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys some of the maps that might not get quite so much attention, uh, as well as the uh, well-known maps uh, like, you know, the Project X's and the Cage and, and all that stuff, as well as some of the new maps that come out. But, uh, yeah, let's try this one out to start with. And I'm not necessarily going to be going to round 30 on all of these maps like I did with the uh, with the regular Zombies maps. Uh, but I'll be showing you guys, uh, basically I'll be opening up the map completely using the custom weapons and stuff like that. And doing any easter eggs. So you guys get a look at the map. Let's get the M1911 here. But if you guys want to see me do some high rounds on some of these maps, let me know and I'll uh, be more than happy to accommodate. Now this map kind of reminds me a bit of Shangri-La with this uh, area here. You can just imagine the pack punch up there, you know, and you got these things. Uh, it's only missing the annoying little monkeys that steal your perks, I guess. Uh, this map was made quite a while before uh, Shangri-La came out, so... Who knows, maybe the uh, Treyarch designers... Uh, got some of their ideas from these custom maps. You know, it wouldn't surprise me whatsoever because you can guarantee some of these guys do play custom zombies. But, uh, yeah, I really wish they'd bring out Black Ops uh, mod tools for zombies because uh, just imagine the kind of maps that they could create. Some of these guys are so talented at uh, making uh, World of War custom zombies maps. What they could do with the uh, Black Ops uh, mod tools. Now, I only just got my uh, custom-built PC back and working uh, this weekend, so I'm pretty happy about that. I did have, obviously, a PC before, but uh, it wasn't, uh, wasn't really fast enough to record and play these games uh, at the same time, so I thought it was time to upgrade. And also, the side benefit is I can now uh, render my videos and produce my videos much quicker as well. Which makes my job a bit easier. Well, it's not really a job, you know what I mean. Makes what I do easier. And it takes a little bit of getting used to initially, uh, these using the PC controls, but uh, it's actually heaps easier aiming with PC because you just have to place your mouse cursor uh, over the, uh, the area you want to aim for, like the zombie's head or whatever. And... Uh, it's that easy. There's no aim assist, obviously, or anything like that, like there is in Xbox, but it's pretty sweet. One thing that is taking a little bit longer to get used to is the movement, because I'm so used to, uh, you know, having having the uh, movement of the Xbox 360 controller and uh, running trains and that with a mouse and keyboard is just taking a little bit of adapting, but I'll get there. It's kind of like uh, finger memory. I don't know if you guys uh, have heard of that, but I actually uh, play guitar. I used to be in a band, and let's get some more ammo here. And when you're playing guitar, you basically your memory in your fingers uh, is what you rely on for uh, remembering the chords and the notes and things like that. Because I don't remember the note names or anything like that. I just know how to play them and. It's the same with uh, using a controller on uh, on Xbox or whatever. 
your finger memory is basically what you fall back on after you've played for a long time. Uh, on one of my videos just the other day, someone made the comment uh, on one of my survival mode videos uh, asking how I set off the C4 without having that little clicker thing in my hand. You know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, I was trying to explain which button you double tap while you've got your primary weapon out to do that. And for the life of me, I couldn't remember what the button was that I pressed. I just know that I press it. And when I'm in game, I press it automatically without thinking. But I can't remember which button it actually is in trying to describe it to someone. I think it's the X button. I'm not too sure. You guys will have to help me out on that one. But anyway, it just goes to show that it's really your finger memory that, that uh, kicks in when you're playing games or you know when you're doing stuff like playing guitar or piano or whatever it is. And uh, you just uh, don't even have to think about it. You just do it. And hopefully that's what I'll get uh, eventually with using the PC controls for movement. Now, if any of you guys want to play some custom zombies with me on PC, uh, just uh, leave me a message. I'd be more than happy to uh, play with some of you guys and we'll put it on video if it's a, if it's a good game. You can either direct message me if you like, or send me a message on Twitter. Twitter's the same as my YouTube name. Uh, and I'll hook you up. I use Steam, the Steam version of World at War, because it keeps the game updated. But uh, Yeah, that'll be a lot of fun, I think. And not just uh, custom zombies, I'll be bringing you guys some other PC games eventually as well, like uh, Killing Floor, which is an awesome... Uh, older game now, but uh, it's a game that's very similar to Zombies in that it's a survival mode. It's sort of also similar to the idea of uh, Horde in that there's a certain number of rounds and you've got a boss, a boss sort of boss levels as well. But uh, that is a lot of fun and the maps are really cool. And uh, I'll also be doing my normal Minecraft videos and stuff like that that I enjoy doing. Okay, so we've opened up the first area here. You can see it's just basically a uh, square room with not much in it. And we got uh, the trench gun on the wall there. So let's head on down to the next area. And this is just basically like a, like a hallway, I guess. Some uh, Minecraft style torches on the walls. Let's keep going. You can see there on the wall it says SPS after Spanish professional snipers. We've done quite a few different zombies maps. And the mystery box. So let's see what we can get here. Hmm, not ideal. Sawn off shotgun. Could be worse though. Hmm, grand with launcher. Let's try this out. I don't know how far up that crawler is. Where are you, buddy? Get damn. Took a couple of grenades on that one. And that is basically the only uh, barrier that you can open up from the starting area, just this one here into the temple. Which is unfortunate because it uh, looks like a map that would be really fun to, uh, you know, go out through there and kill zombies out there and, and check out that area. But uh, you can't actually do that. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Don't want to get stuck up there. Let's use the uh, rifle grenade again. That was that was good fun. Bit of new tubing, noob tubing. I love that dinging noise the Garand makes when it's out of ammo. Kind of makes you feel like you're in a carnival or something. Uh, 
Uh, that that noise that it makes when your uh, your clip is empty is uh, was actually a problem during the world uh, during World War Two when this gun was used by the infantry because the enemy knew exactly when you were out of ammo and you were fumbling around trying to reload the thing so they could uh, take advantage of that and that was something that the military uh, wanted to fix so they tried putting plastic components in instead but uh, I don't think that really worked either. I've forgotten we had this. Let's try the, the old uh, sawn off out as well. This is a weapon I use a lot on uh, Verrockt in uh, World at War because you can buy it off the wall in one of the train areas. And that is just about it. So uh, let's open the very last door on this map, which is this one here. So the salvation lies above. Let's just check it out. So we've got this area, and it's like a. Uh, it's like a tomb or something. You can see there a sarcophagus with a probably a mummy in it or something like that. Now, when I first played this map, I was like, "How do you open this uh, this door up?" And maybe you jump on these things, whatever they are, and maybe that's an Easter egg or something like that. But nope, this is uh, basically it. It's just there for uh, your viewing pleasure. So uh, we've opened up the entire map now in this uh, in this map, McQuistley. And uh, let's just piece it up for a few rounds, and then uh, I might leave that double points. Let's go hit the box and come back and get that. We'll just piece it up for a few rounds, you know, and uh, maybe get to about round 10, and then uh, then we'll leave it there. I'll get the old Tommy gun, the uh, trench broom, <laughs> Chicago typewriter, as it was known back in the day. Oh, I'm on double points, that's right. Should really be, uh... Now, one thing about this map that you may have noticed is that the uh, zombies only come from those three windows in the starting area. So, uh, you don't have to worry about zombies coming from behind you at all when you're down here in this, uh... in this... In this um, temple or whatever it is. I don't know how many zombies we got left up there. So it's basically uh, just one big long... Um, choke point for the zombies to come down this uh, this long hallway into the temple. And uh, I don't know why they designed it that way. Uh, you know, whether it was because they just couldn't be asked finishing the map off and adding new areas, <laughs> or because these guys are snipers and they wanted a, a long line of sight where they could snipe zombies from. I don't know. But uh, you can just imagine with four players down in this area, you've got no zombies come from here. They're just all going to come down there and you could pick them off from a distance with four players uh, till the cows come home, as they say. <laughs> so that makes this map a little bit unique, I guess. And uh, I mean, maybe there's some more maps out there, some more custom maps that have a similar setup. I don't know. But overall, I like the look of this map, the atmosphere of it, and. Uh, it looks pretty awesome. Some of the maps look a little bit on the uh, tacky side, almost with uh, some of the bright colors that they use and some of the custom stuff that they stick in the map, you know, and the writing and stuff like that. But uh, they've done pretty well on this map. I just wish they'd done more and and put more areas that you can uh, move into. Oh yeah, the MG, one of my favorite zombie weapons. Let's hit the box again here, see what we get. The bar again. Let's 
Sweet. All right. I'm just trying to get something like a, like a sniper rifle or something interesting like that. Well, this is an improvement on the bar anyway. I'm being a bit of a box whore this game, aren't I? I don't hardly ever hit the box when I'm playing, uh, you know, what you might call seriously. I usually just rely on the war weapons, but uh, I guess there's a little bit of the box whore in all of us. Let's fry this dude. Okay, so we're up to uh, round 9 here. Let's uh, head back up top and see how long we can hold out uh, at the entrance to the tomb of McQuistley. Zombies probably be a bit faster in this round. God, I love this weapon. We've still got the uh, flamethrower, haven't we? Let's give this a go. A weapon you will have seen a lot of in my uh, Nocturne Titan strategies. In uh, World of War, at least. <sighs> you know what they should have done is they should have put a uh, the underbarrel flamethrower attachment on one of the uh, Pack a Punch weapons in Black Ops Zombies. That would have been really cool. There we go, we finally get a sniper. Let's do this. I'm a really horrible sniper in multiplayer, but... See if I can do better in zombies. Oh yeah, that's a whole lot of points right there. Beast mode! Whoa, 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 whoa. Keep your distance. So maybe one more round, guys. What do you think? And uh, then we'll call it a day on uh, McQuistley. Yeah, I don't really want that. Let's just hang back here again. I might hit the box again and see what, what I can get. Haven't got monkeys yet. Thompson again. I wonder if this map's got 24 zombies per round like Narc has, or if it's uh, 
just keeps going up. Seems like there's more than 24. Maybe not. I don't know how to check my kills actually on uh, with the controls that I got, but we'll see at the end of the game. Hmm. I'll see if we can get another uh, heavy machine gun like the uh, Browning. And then we'll be sweet. Oh, Molotovs. Alright, we'll go with this, and uh, what we'll do is we'll kill ourselves this round. So what I'll do is I'll head up to that, uh, to the starting area. And what I'm going to do is uh, see how long I can survive in the tent. And I'm not allowed to leave the tent. So we'll see, uh, we'll see just how successful that, <laughs> that is. Come on, come on, it's a bit hard to uh, run with these, these weapons that I got. Okay, switching, switching to the MG. Oh, nearly out of ammo. Go, go, go. Reload, reload. Oh, back, back, back. Oh, it's a little bit too tight in there to run a, a zombie train, I think. But uh, there you go, guys. So... What was that? 12 rounds, 224 kills. Yeah, I would say there's about 24 zombies around in this map. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment, guys. Rate, subscribe, all that normal stuff. You know what to do by now. And uh, thanks for watching. Slipper Jim out.